Welcome back to The Health Show. I'm Robert Lipside. This is part one of our sexual healing mini-series. There will be a part two on hugging, but at a safe distance for hugging right now is Dr. Carlin Kolker, CEO and medical director of Peak Wellness, a private medical center in Greenwich, Connecticut, and author of Sex Pills, From A to Z, What Works and What Doesn't. What I like best and the easiest about uh, your book was that obviously most things don't work. That's correct. And very quickly, some of the things, let's, let's demythologize all my life, Spanish fly. Sure. Well, Spanish no. fly is actually uh, the old Studio 54 days. Uh, Spanish fly is crushed beetles, and you really shouldn't be able to get it right now, uh -huh. um, but it's, uh, it's actually a very toxic substance and extremely dangerous. No I Spanish mean, uh, fly. The no. two things that really disappointed me were garlic and chocolate. <laughs> well, we don't know about garlic in terms of cancer prevention, but in terms of this, uh, sexual enhancement as an aphrodisiac, that's not really going to work well for you. And certainly, uh, you know, your breath, so yeah. make sure your, your lover has uh, garlic. <laughs> it's really kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, so, some of this was, was, yeah. was really... Uh, and, and Viagra, of course, was one Well, thing. we know Viagra works. Yeah. I mean, Viagra is a prescription uh, pharmaceutical, though, and you have to remember that, you know, mm -hmm. of course, you need a doctor's prescription to use it. And uh, there are side effects to Viagra. Some people have them. You have to be careful if mm -hmm. you have a heart history and you're taking certain heart medications. But uh, Viagra has been a revolution for many men. Yeah. Now, other than Andrew, which we will come back to, I, I had the sense that a subtext in your book, especially since this is the Peak Wellness Center, uh, right. uh, was that uh, basic physical health. Uh, is, is really the best sex pill. Absolutely. I mean, you really don't want to look for a pill for a quick fix, and that I've emphasized mm -hmm. throughout the book. I mean, you really want a healthy foundation of good physical exercise and proper eating, a healthy diet. And these are the things that if you don't have, as I say, your little duckies in a row, mm -hmm. and these things are not uh, laying your good foundation, yeah. then you, know, you, can't, you can't look for a pill to make a quick fix. Yeah. However, one thing that did surprise me in your book is that Andrew does more than hit home runs. Well, <laughs> I don't even know if it hel helps you hit home runs. I mean, I think that uh, it's been shown that andro is not a good booster of testosterone for young men with a normal testosterone. So if you're trying to take it as an anabolic steroid, uh, it's just not going to work that way. However, for a subpopulation of men, and it's being studied right mm -hmm. now, men over the age of 40 with a decreased libido and perhaps a low testosterone, it may function as a libido enhancer. So it's a consideration. Mm -hmm. And what do you suggest? Well, uh, androstine dion or andro is a possibility as a natural substance and there's another substance called yohimbi mm -hmm. and yohimbi that funny name is uh, derived from a tree bark um, in the african congo and actually it helps uh, performance so the combination of the two androstine dion and yohimbi or yohimbi alone is actually quite a, can be quite effective for the right population but of course with yohimbi the tree bark you have to be careful too much you get agitation sweating problems mm -hmm. so so what exactly do they do the andro boosts your testosterone in a certain population, uh, which increases your libido. Well, we're not sure. It's being yeah. studied right now. It may, in fact, boost testosterone in a particular subpopulation of individuals yeah. that may need testosterone boosting, or it may act itself centrally mm. on the area of the brain to enhance libido. Right. That, may, that may be the driving force behind it. But, and then in combination with the... Uh... In combination with Yohimbi, yeah. oh, Yohimbi acts as sort of a... Uh, a, a blocker of ejaculation. So mm. if performance is an issue, uh, premature ejaculation, it's going to actually lengthen the amount mm. of time that you, you have do sexual you, intercourse. Do you suggest that to your patients? Um, you? It depends. I think it depends on the person's individual uh, uh, issues. Mm. Uh, and remember, just because something is not uh, you know, a, a, a prescription substance, and these substances are available over the counter, mm. yeah, vitamin stores like yeah. GNC, it doesn't mean that they're not without their side effects. So I always make sure that, that uh, any, anyone should always get their, their physician involved. Yeah. You know, but basically,